Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna. Welcome to week eight of nine. Last week, I read a sense of urgency. Here's what I have for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this book was about how to create a sense of urgency in your organization. The author made the distinction between a false sense of urgency and a real sense of urgency. Additionally, he provided research as well as four tactics that you can use to create and maintain a sense of urgency within your organization. He also talked about internal focuses versus outernal, external focuses, as well as when you have those naysayers and how to deal with them. Do I recommend the book? I do not. In lieu of creating a sense of urgency, here is my recommendation. Everybody needs to hold themselves personally accountable. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I had to roll out many change initiatives during my corporate years. And what I found is the accountable people had growth mindsets and they knew why the change was necessary and why we had to implement it. And the people with fixed mindsets who didn't like change and who didn't like to grow made sure that they resisted the change initiative from the time it came out into its implementation. So instead of creating a sense of urgency for crisis or when you are trying to improve your, your position in the marketplace or whatever is causing this real sense of urgency, I'm saying it's in your daily. It's in everything that you do. When you hold yourself personally accountable at work, at home, wherever you are, then when change shows up, when crisis happens or anything in between, you are prepared. So instead of focusing on creating a sense of urgency, Put all of your energy towards holding yourself personally accountable on the daily basis and best will always be the outcome. Got it? Good. Last week's new beginning, I started stretching again. I found myself, I will be 50 this year and I found that my bones were getting a little tense and stiff and so I started back stretching every morning and I'm telling you, it has been great. My body feels great, my mind feels great and throughout my day, I don't find myself going, ooh, ah, oh, ooh, that hurt. So if you are beyond 40 years old, you need to start stretching every single day. Got it? Good. This week's book, People styles at work and beyond. Well, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. But before I get out of here, just remember the power of nine. New beginnings expand your mind. Adios.